I've been working on the large nether tower, and I think I've finally finished it. Are you ready? It looks just like the small one right there. Only I made a few adjustments before we look at it. Okay, because I think that it looks even better. Like, I really like the look of this. All right, you ready? Da 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 da! You know, because like, I was, I was planning on making all this blue and color and wood stuff, but then I eventually was just like, nah, I just have lots of stone, right? And so, look, I even brought this stuff. I was like, nah, nah, it's not needed, not necessary. This looks so majestic and magnificent. And all the words that start with the letter M that, that are worthy of such a tower. Of its, of its kind, of its glory, and oh, it just, it really matches the bridge as well. So, I really like that too. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obviously, look, I've already done some work on it. I've been working on the corners, getting the glass in, got the floors in, and I've got some unwelcome house guests who were not on the guest list to this. Mm, uh, what's another M word? Uh... Maglorious tower. That's that's a word, no. Uh, so I got some chests. This is where all my stuff is that I'm working on right now for the tower. All the other ones are empty, soon to be filled. It is kind of dark in here, but I'll get lighting. I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, but I gotta finish the corners first and the sides. Uh, so I figured uh, since some sides are gonna have like a balcony and like this side has an opening here, openings in different places. Hey, why not just make every side slightly different? So I'm not going to design a side. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. Right? All right. So that's the progress that has gone on so far. And and the furnace room has the most progress. I've got all the... F oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! That was too low. Uh, furnaces hooked up in there. Not all of them, actually. Let me see. What do I have? It's been a while. I had, like, loads of stone in here. Did I take it all out? No, it's still in here. Alright, let's take these bad boys out. Okay, so I've always been low on food. And that has always been a problem for me. So, it's because I, I have a pig farm over there on the, on, the, on the mushroom. But I have zero carrots to feed those pigs. And I've always wanted... Oh, freak, he's got me on fire. Ah, uh, a cow farm, because they don't just drop their food. They drop, where is it? It's in my mouth chest. This, leather, ooh, ah, leather. And there's, there's just so much you can do with leather. Come on, pick it all up, there you go. All right, so I need some wheat. Lure some cows over. I saw some uh, clickety-click over the yonder when I was obtaining these fine skeleton horses, which I have let roam freely on their own. I only see one, two, uh, dear. So I should really coop them up before they get themselves into trouble far away, because they ha I have saddles on all of them, so, you know, uh, this is not smart of me. Uh, but anyway, we're going to collect some wheat. Oh, look, there's one all the way out here. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should take him before he falls into the distance. Falls into the distance. Ha! What am I saying? Blah! Alright. Come here! Gosh dang, so far away. This guy really wants to get around. Oh, need to eat more food. Story of my life. Oh, this is my other heart guy. The really beefed up masculine heart guy is still like, by my house, so. He's loyal. He obeys me. That's good. Let's see. Cows over here. Somewhere. Too tall grass. Not fun. This is going to be a pain getting these cows all the way back through this. I know it's like open terrain, but still it's, it's a far ways away. Here we are, cows. Our local cows. 
All right, let's round up as many as we can. So I see one up here. All right, so in total about four. I can't shift click when I'm in a horse inventory? Wow, that's weird. They're baby zombie, must be underground. All right, oh freak. Let's try to take this slow, inch by inch. Let's go for this guy. All right, he sees me. It's the last doofus. Right. Yo, we we got it made. Let's go. Yo, I have done it. I have led my cows over to my pig farm. Now, okay, one just already has gone down the thing. Fun fact, if you go backwards on a, on a skeleton horse, he doesn't go as fast. He just goes the regular speed as any other mob. So I was able to, like, keep up with the... The cows were able to keep up with me, is what I meant to say. Ha 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 I'm not slow. Alright. So, let's just build some wool up there. Uh, do I still have my axe? Yes, yes I do. Alright. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's get the staircase going. Uh, let's make it right there. Oh gosh, it's about to turn night time. We need to get these cows up in here asap Oh gosh, this is dangerous. Okay, they really should only need one, uh, but three will be good. All right, let's take our, take out these, kill these pigs. Oh, kill, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them fast, kill them quickly, kill them now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, wheat, wheat, cows, come, come to daddy. Where's the other one? There's C3. I need four. I need all four. Hey, come up here. Just come up here right now. Alright, let me see. Get me get my inventory. Uh, I didn't pick up any signs. Not signs. Uh, what are these? Fences. Uh, I'm not picking stuff up. This isn't good. This is not good. Mm -mm. Nope, don't want you. Not yet. Okay, okay, three in, one left. Is this the guy that went all the way down here? No. Yeah, I got that guy. Mm, where is he? Where'd he go? Where's the cow? Oh, he's over here, he's over here. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, one. Come here, come here. Stupid. I got these guys looking at me. Ah. Come on. Come back here. Don't, don't look at me. Don't, don't. Hey, hey, stupid. Freak, they're escaping. They're escaping. You idiot. You're ruining everything. Okay, okay. He's got me. He's got me. These guys have got me. Let me through. Let the other guys through. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Up here. Up, up, up. One more, one more. All crowd into this corner. Come here, all of you. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Ah, uh, where's the, where's the, where's the thing? Oh, it's right there. Oh man, I hear a zombie. All right, bam, and ba bang. Shazam! Yeah, we did it. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, you. All right, let's let's get it going on. Uh, we should probably get one more. Hey. I got an achievement. Hey, been a while, been a while since I got an achievement. Feels pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's get one of these guys. Pow. Good. All right, anybody else wants to get killed? Chop down. Uh, where are my potatoes? Potatoes, potatoes. And you too. Okay. I am not. I have not been using my secondary hand that much. I really want to use it more, but I just haven't been doing it. All right, all right, let's get the other guys going. Raw fruit. All right, cool, cool, cool beans. All right. It's not too dangerous out here tonight, actually. Not too dangerous. Let's see. This guy. Can I right-click that guy and that guy? Booyah, babies! Oh, yes. Okay, six cows already. Already. All righty. 
Mm. You can die too. Mm. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh man, Oof, I dodged that. Dodged. Let me get on my horse. Let me just take him down, actually. Ah, gah, 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 gah. Oh, he did not shoot me for the longest time. Thankful for that. All right, there's an Enderman over there. What does he have? Does he have a grass block? Oh, he does. I kind of want to go for him now. Oof. Should I do it? Ooh. Make sure no one else is around. Oh, I hit him. Oh, man. Go retreat. Retreat. Retreat to the two block high area. Yeah. Yeah, silly guy. Ha! Ah, what you gonna do now? Oh man, he actually hit me. Ooh. Ha! Ah, he! Ooh. Ha! Ah. Yeah! Dang it, my inventory is too stuffed up. Nice! Got that block of grass. Grass is cool. Let's go home. Tell me if this is a familiar sight. Huh? It's nighttime. Zombies at my door. Nothing in my inventory. Arrgh! I died again, and this time oh, I'm really mad. Arrgh! Because I got to level 30, right? And I enchanted a diamond sword. And I still have it. And it's sharpness 3. It's not the best. And that was it. For 30 levels, only sharpness three. Oh, great. Now I'm going to lose that too. Ah! Look, he picked it up. Of course he did. I knew it. Die. No, no, you're not welcome in my house. What are you doing? This is not good. Oh, he doesn't really. Oh, my gosh, that hurts. Okay. He's done. Oh, my gosh. Now it's raining. How depressing. But that's not what really makes me mad. Because I, you know, when you enchant something with 30 levels, you only go get knocked down to like 27. It's not that big of a deal. As long as if you can keep it up. Oh good, it's not raining anymore. Ooh, that guy's ugly. Anyway, as I was saying. So, oh my gosh. I enchanted something else when I got to 30 levels. I enchanted a new diamond pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Freshly crafted. And I put it in there, put that, put lapis, and I got 30, and then I got, oh, I don't even remember what I got, actually. Um, fortune 3, efficiency 4, and unbreaking 3, I think it was? Yeah, all of that for 30 levels, and that was like, oh, amazing, and so... Man, I was so ready to mine up some diamonds or whatnot with that thing. But you know what? I never got around to it because this is how I died. Are you ready? It's so dumb. I was in the nether working on the nether tower. Right? And then I don't know how it happened, but I always keep my, my last potion of fire resistance in my offhand here. Isn't this weird? Like seeing your sword on the other hand that's kind of weird and I was eating food on the other hand too that was really weird see look at this man I get so distracted so easily look at this that's so weird that's not right you eat with your other hand your other hand Ooh, do wielding pork chops let's go uh, anyway um so yeah I was working on the nether tower and for some reason, like, I was right-clicking, and I was still placing blocks. But then, like, all of a sudden, my potion drank. I drank it, like, in, in like, just one right-click. I don't know how that happened. But then I was like, well, that's a waste of a potion. Then I thought, well, you know, maybe, might as well put this to work. Put this to use, right? The potion. So I figured, you know, I'm immune to lava, right? So I jumped down from the tower into the big pool of lava, but apparently I hit the ground too hard instead of swimming in the lava. And so I died. And all of my stuff was burned away, including that pickaxe and a lot of good stuff. Like I had some armor, not my diamond armor though. I had iron armor, so that was okay. 
but like, oh my gosh, I had a lot of wood and a lot of, a lot of building materials on me. <sighs> Let's go shear my sheep. Oh my gosh, I need to eat stuff. My shears. Oh, you might notice these. Yes, so I've been recently, do I have food? Uh, no, bread, good. I got lots of carrots because I, I journeyed very far away that way on one of my skeleton horses and there's, there's an acacia biome. One of these guys. Yep, so I got some of those. And I saw the new zombie husks and the, man, they're pretty cool. Their sounds, they're like, like what is it? Like a mummy zombie. It's pretty awesome. So we'll go explore that later. But yeah, I've been on the hunt for records. And right now I have four, I guess one's in the nether tower. Cause I have a jukebox at the bottom there. You guys should see what I've done to the nether tower. I've been working on it. It's not done yet. But it's it's a lot of a lot of stuff has been done so far. Okay, and um, so yeah, I've been hunting these discs like there's no tomorrow because that's they're pretty cool. I like the discs, and you know with the new skeleton AI, that's been kind of a challenge to get the skeleton to go sideways and hit the creeper, and I just fell, and I call it a creeper. What did I just call it? Okay, I can't jump anymore. Ugh, ah! It's just leaves. Jump on the leaves. There we go. One of my horses died as well. Things are not going well for me. I was chopping up wood. And I found a cave. And I was like, oh, got to go explore this. And it turns out it was a massively freaking huge cave. Right? And so, you know, I was under there for like all day and all night. And then I returned through some other end. Find where I put my horse last. Where I last left him. And I actually see this like pool of water. Like these kind of things. And a saddle. And some bones. And I think there are bones actually. I'm not quite sure. But there was a saddle there. And so I was like. Uh, no more horse. So we're down to two. I have now killed two of my skeleton horses officially. Don't worry. It wasn't the one with a lot of health. That one we still have. That one is currently in the mushroom. Not the mushroom house, the, uh, yeah, the mushroom thing. Anyway, my cows are breeding nicely. I have lots of cows. I have like 10 of them in there right now. So that's good. But I'm going to journey on this way to show you the acacia biome. And I actually found two villages over there. One in the, de one in the desert, one kind of sideways. I don't know if I'll be able to find them again, uh, but we'll see. Oh, I see some acacia stuff happening. Looks like. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. Oh man, there's, oh man, this is not an insta-kill for spiders anymore. Hey, does this do damage on you? Whoa, yeah, Sharpness 3 does do damage on the zombies, I guess. All right, that's not all that bad. I'm okay with insta-killing zombies instead of spiders, I guess, I don't know. Or maybe he was just low health, because those other ones didn't seem to like. I don't know. Whatever. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to also try to find the desert with the husks. Uh, I don't know exactly where that is, though. Because it's kind of been a little while since I was here. And this time, I did not bring my compass. Which is a big mistake on my part. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find my way back home. I know that it is that way, but it's far away that way, so... Oh, no, I guess, no, sharpness does not do anything to zombies. I guess he just fell off the mountain. Hmm. Oh, I got this baby zombie on my legs. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, man, is there another guy? No. Guys, we found it. And I think that I saw one, saw one of the husks. Oh, okay, three over here. Let's go say hello. Look, they're a little, like, these sand rabbits over here. It's, it's very weird. Listen to them. And they give you hunger. See, watch. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Don't hit me again. So they're slightly taller than the average zombie. Now, I don't have another zombie to compare them to right now for you guys. 
So let me try to lead this guy over somewhere where there is a regular zombie after I collect all this experiment, Exper experience. Okay, let's get on my horse. Where'd he go? He's right there. Okay, come follow me. Let's go over this way. Look, there's one. There's a dude. Hey, walk faster, you idiot. These stupid bunnies. Let's try to get this guy's attention too. Ooh, sand. I can fall. Let's... That's not going to happen. I lost my shovel too. My enchanted diamond shovel in the lava. Alright, alright. Stand next to each other. Family portrait. Let's see. Uh, slightly taller. Yeah, you see it there. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, man. I got another one over there looking at me. Oh, I lost my bow as well. Oh, no. Don't hit me again. It was like power three. Power three bow that I just enchanted. That's what I'll... S I'm so mad. So mad. Oh, hey. It's that village. There's just some regular trades in there, though. Nothing too fancy smanchy. Let's see. And no, like, blacksmith or anything. So, I don't know why beats are a thing in the game. They only heal, like, half a heart. Eh. Look, it's, it's got the new path blocks. Ooh. Ha, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, so some stuff. Power one? Yeah. Okay, whatever. I don't... Uh, these trades, man. I don't do trades with the villagers too much. Not that interesting. Oh, man. Hey, I want to see a husk attack one of these guys. You let him in your house? You're an idiot. Why would you do such a thing? Look at that guy. Look at him. Can he get me from here? Nah. He can't. All right. Well, I'm going to attempt to find my way back home. This is going to be fun. Okay, so I did manage to come out over here somehow, just a little, but I have found my way back home. Here it is. That's the good part. Oof. All right. Let me put you back, and let me show you some other updates that have been happening. So here we are. Here's some of an entrance of something. I don't know. That needs work. But I've been working on adding chests and converting everything from the overworld in our tiny mushroom house into here. And organizing how I'm going to have all the chests laid out and everything. So each layer has two sides of chests. Right? And one ladder going up and one ladder going down somewhere. And then that leaves two walls for extra something else that I want, right? So I haven't totally figured out exactly what I'm doing with all of those yet, but uh, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on something. This purple, like the carpet is okay, I guess? Yeah, I don't know. It, it looks a bit too much purple. I might change it back into blue. Bad, but back, I mean into blue, because I, I never had it as black. So I might do that right now, actually. The cyan. Cyan. But before I do that, let me show you guys some more down here. And then we have two of these chests. And then at the very bottom... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a balcony here. And I have it set up so I could just walk up to it. And it opens. And then we can ender pearl out so we don't have to, like, take fall damage from the small tower every time we exit. And here's the jukebox. I've almost got this set up. Yeah, what was I listening to? Wait, so I have these four discs and two of these, two strats. So I actually have three of those, three strats. Um, let me put these in here because those need to go back. Bye-bye. This is going to be some armor stand for all my diamond armor. This is going to be an enchantment when I get, uh, what is it, silk touch. So I can put the bookshelves here because I think you need silk touch to pick those up. So, yeah. More stuff being converted and working on the walls, but bleh. As far as the minecart system is, I've got it set up here, so I have actually only have like three furnaces on each side, except for this side, which only has two. 
And I don't have enough slimes yet for uh, shooting and pistons and whatnot, and also saddles and pigs. So that's gonna happen soon. But I need to tell you guys something. Something else happened to me while I was working here. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I th I know how it happened. I just just don't know why it didn't happen earlier and why it had to happen now. But I was working on the tower, converting all the stuff from the top to the bottom, really, which is where I spend most of my time. And I hear this noise. And it's not a ghast, actually. I've, I haven't heard many ghasts be around, like any, like at all. No, I actually heard fire. Yeah, I heard crackling fire, and I wondered, what the heck could that be? And then I realized, oh my gosh. I turn around and look at my once beautiful little tower. It is now a crumble of pieces. I've had to put dirt blocks here so I can still, like, jump up. Look at this mess. Look at how sad it looks. I have to fix all this, too. Ugh. So I've died, lost all my stuff, and this is burnt down. I'm pretty freaking sure that it was caused by the lava under here. And it just caught this wool on fire. I had to rearrange this too so that at least this pressure, pressure plate still works. And come to think of it, that's like really the only pressure plate that I use. The other ones are just for decor. So I might just keep it like that. And when we add the parkour down here, we'll uh, add some entrance over here somewhere. But anyway, that's now been pushed back thanks to a little situation here. So I'm going to have to fix this too and finish the large tower and somehow gather the strength to get all my items, new items, I guess. Uh, and I need a f minecart system. A lot to do on the to-do list. All right, yeah, I think that looks much better with the blue, the cyan. Yeah, that looks good. Wait, mm, I might keep that down there purple, just because it's, that's okay. I also added glass to the top here, so I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm still planning on putting stars up here, but that's, that's the last thing to do on the to-do list. Actually, hmm, would that be last? I have something else in mind that's going to, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes for me to accomplish. All in, all in good time, my good people. All in good time. Of course. All right, listen to this. Look at that! Day 156! I fixed it! And the zombie was ruining it, but hopefully you heard it. It chimed one, then five, then six times. See, I'm not crazy. I know what I'm doing. What was wrong was the stupidest thing. There's just one piece of wool and one piece of redstone missing. All the way over here, this guy right here. That block of redstone and that block of wool. After I placed that down, that was it! It was fixed! Now I have noticed that this is actually incorrect some days. It actually gets behind. And that's because like I'm not in the trunks and loading when it actually is turns daytime. I might be outside there or whatnot. So that's a flaw that I'm not gonna fix right now because I'm a little little frustrated with about everything right now. As you can tell, like everything's on fire, my my little tower and skeleton horse died, all my items burned up. I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not, yeah, no. So, I'm honestly, I don't really know where to go from here. There is one last thing that I wanna show you. So, 
So, I'm taking my horse here, my beefed up horse, my good old skeleton beef up horse, uh, out to where I've been gathering the wood for the nether tower from the birch trees. And it turns out there's this lovely birch forest right over here. You can almost see it. And, you know, one of the great things about this game, one of the first things that anybody sees is that, you know, this game defies physics. Trees float in this game. So I thought it would be fun to make a whole birch forest of floating trees. Isn't that awesome? Look at these. Now, if it upsets your OCD a little, don't worry. There are obviously... I didn't cut down all of them. You could see there's some right there that I, that I haven't cut down. Just because, you know, there's a lot of wood all right here. And, in fact, there's a little pond over here. That's where... Right here. This is where I found the saddle and the horse. Or his remains, I guess. Yeah. But anyway, so chopping down. I'm going to continue chopping down, uh, even if I don't need the wood, just to make this just that more cool. Isn't this like the funniest thing? I think it is. I left a crafting bench here. I'll take that, actually. Well, nah, I'll leave it there. <laughs> 